For this project, we're going to be working with images. We'll add text and styling as well. I typically start either doing my styling first or doing the content first. I don't usually do them at the same time. So we're going to put in our four images first, then we're going to go back and add paragraphs and some divs and do some things to style them. So you should make sure that you have already added, and you need between five and ten images, I have four, um, you ha but you should ha already have your images inside your Project 4 folder and, folder, and they should be named with no spaces in the image names because that will break them, and they should all be all lowercase if you want something between words, hyphens, or what I recommended. So I'm going to start using Emmet, IMG. IMG, so it's IMG for image. Do not spell out image. That's the most common error. And then hit tab. That gives you that you need your source. SRC stands for source. And your alt text. Your source is the name of the file. So I'm going to put Nessie's stuff on top. So I've got, and when I start typing, it'll look in the same folder. And so I'm going to grab Nessie Ball. And my alt will be a description of the folder, which or the, the file, which is Nessie, the Bouvier, dog playing with an orange ball. You don't need to say this is a picture of. It's a description for people who either do not have images loading because they're on a phone or something and they don't want to take the time to load them, or for people who are using a browser for the blind and it's to describe what the image is to them. So it should completely describe the image so they'll know what it's an image of. So I'm going to add my other three images, and I will fast forward through this. Okay, so I've added all of my images. At this point, I should test and make sure that they're working. They're probably going to be way bigger than I want. And they are. But they're all in here. So I will often just do a style. And what I like to do, I'm going to add my style, and I need to put my title in. And you can see that changes right there. And then I have my style section. So I'm going to put in an image style. And this will style all the images the same way. Now the way I usually like to do sizes is I will do width. And I usually set it to a percent. And I'll show you why. And I'm going to say 40% height, auto, that's the default, but you never know what browser people are going to be looking from, so it's okay to reintroduce that. And you'll see that when you use a percentage, if you resize, it will resize with it. Plus, by using the default, if I did a, if I did a specific height, that would make it skew out of proportion. The other thing I want to change here to these is display block. That makes them display one after another instead of side by side. And that's what I want it to do. Otherwise, they would be right next to each other. But this is really more of what I was looking for. Now, I can do some interesting things by separating these into divs. A div is just a logical block, and that's sort of what I want to do here. So I'm going to add a class called content, and the class means that it has a dot, and I'm going to do a border 
2px solid purple. I'm going to do a background of ivory. I'm going to do padding, which is going to put space between the contents of the div and the div itself of 30px. I'm going to do I think that's enough to start. Okay. So here I'm going to do a body background. And for photos, I actually like to do a black or dark black background or a dark gray black around, but I'm going to do black. And I'm going to do font family sans serif and let's start putting in this content class around each image so dot content is going to change into a div class equals content and div just means a division it's just making a box so we're putting a box around each one of these so I'm going to do dot content dot content and dot content. Okay, so I have boxes for each one. That's looking better. Now, I want to do a few different things with these content boxes. I want to set a maximum width. Of 960 pixels and that's pretty much a standard width. Now by max width that means that if this grows and you're going to see the boxes will grow to a certain extent it's fine but it won't grow any bigger than 960 pixels. I can shrink but it will only grow so far. But now I want to center it and when I'm centering it I'm going to do margin. Now margin is between so padding gives me space between the content and the edge of the box. Margins will give me space between the boxes. So I want a margin of 10px, that's going to be top and bottom, actually let's make that 20px, top and bottom, and this collapses, it's not 20 and 20, it doesn't become 40, it's just 20 total. So I've got 20 from the top, if it has 20 top and bottom here they're going to collapse so I just get 20. And then I'm going to do auto, which is going to put it in the center. So auto centers it. So that looks better. So I'm going to add another div here. And I'm here I'm going to put an H1. Now I think I'm going to want that H1 to be centered in purple. So text align center color purple. So I want some of these to be left and some of these to be right aligned and there's a few ways to do that. Let's put in a dot left and typically we're going to have these float left because floating will bring the other stuff next to it. So first we're going to do clear both that clears any floating above it and then we're going to do float actually I don't want that here I want to clear both so each new container or each new content 
should clear anything above it. So my float is going to be left. And I can do more stuff to that, but I just want to start that way. And then we're going to do a dot right. And these are class names. So class names are things where you can use them multiple times and they will apply these characteristics to everything that they're, apply, uh, that they're applied to. So I'm going to do float right. And here I'm going a little bit back and forth showing you how the changes affect these. So I'm going to have the first one be left, the second one be right, third one be left, fourth one be right. I'm going to go back and forth. So for the image, I'm going to add class equals left. And then for you to really understand what this does, I actually need to pull that out for a second. I'm going to, I want you to put in real text. I'm going to put in sample text. You need to put in a real text describing your images. But I can do P lorem and that'll put in a paragraph of lorem ipsum. And I actually want more than one paragraph. So I'm going to surround these in parentheses, P lorem. So I'm going to group it just like I would in math times four. So it gives me four paragraphs of lorem ipsum text. I want you to write real text. I'm just showing you how this works. Okay, so now when I add the class equals left, that's going to make my information here float up to the left hand side. But ah, it causes a few problems. Let's fix them one at a time. So content, I need to do overflow auto. That fixes it from the image hanging out past the end. Really common issue. My image needs padding. 20px. Padding gives it spacing between it and the next item. I could have done that as a margin. It does about the same thing in this case because it's a box model. It's your content, then padding, and then if there was a border, and this is what's really going to show you how it works. Border 2px solid purple. So if I do it as a margin, the space is the outside of the border. If I do it as a padding, oops, that's totally in the wrong place. That needs to be a margin. The image, if it was a if it was padding here. It would be between it and the border. So margin is on the outside of border, padding is on the inside. If you aren't using the border, it doesn't really appear like it makes a difference. So you can use it either one in this particular case. So I've got my float left. I'm just going to copy and paste my paragraphs here so they each get a paragraph, <coughs> a set of paragraphs in their div. Again, you need real paragraphs. So we've got a class equals left, the image here will be class equals right. Class equals left. And class equals right.
So this gives me a basic web page with images and text. And I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I'm not in love with is the fonts. I think that I would like my font size slightly larger. And then I'm pretty happy with this. So you'll go ahead and put in a few more of these. You may not have quite as much text, but you need to have real content. And it would be a good idea to have each of these divs have an H2 tag. And again, once I put that content in, I may wish to style it. And I actually think that I want it to have the same styling as the H1. So I can just put a comma H2. And so you should add that for each of your sections. So again, minimum of five, maximum of 10 images with paragraphs and just play with the alignment like this and that's your assignment. Make sure that you're zipping that whole folder and handing in the zipped folder when you're done.